She'll be coming round some action when she come. She'll be coming round some action when she come. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Timmy G's Unboxing Stuff. Today we are unboxing yet another $100 box from Don't Eat the Gum. That's right, if you don't know about Don't Eat the Gum, you haven't been watching my channel, have you? But if you don't know about Don't Eat the Gum, Don't Eat the Gum is a rad mystery, non-subscription mystery box service run by Kevin Kennedy. They have a, a range of boxes that you can get. There's a $10 what's in the pack. There is a $25 what's in the box. $50 what's in the box. A $50 random what's in the box. And a $100 what's in the box. Obviously this is the $100 box. For the uh, $25 through the $100 except for the random box, you fill out the notes section with movies that you love, uh, shows to, uh, stuff that you're into. It doesn't have to all be horror. Uh, it's He specializes mainly in horror and sci-fi, uh, but I have seen him with uh, some other stuff too. I've gotten some really cool comic book stuff uh, like superhero kind of stuff in here too, and that's awesome too. You can specify that you do or don't want certain types of items. Like I've seen people uh, on his page say stuff like, uh, you know, can you not send me any comic books? I don't want any comic books. And so he doesn't send him any comic books, uh, you know, but he caters the box to what you like. And unlike, you know, other mystery boxes, it's not a month to month thing. Whenever you want a box, you just place an order. Usually within two weeks, you're going to get your box. You don't have to sit and wait months and months on end waiting for your catered box to be delivered. Yeah, so it's just an awesome, awesome, awesome service. I've been getting these for, I don't know, like a year and a half now. Uh, except for like we went one month without a box and uh, but of course that's kind of made up for you know the uh, what was it November uh, for our anniversary mega month I actually did one of each tier uh, so you know we've gotten a lot of box from Kevin and uh, they're always wonderful they're always fantastic I wouldn't continue to get them if you know if they weren't awesome I pay for all of the boxes that I do on this channel out of my own pocket so if it's not a good box or they don't provide a good service I'm not gonna stay with them you know sometimes I've tried some boxes for a few months that turned out to not be so great or just to be meh <laughs> you know and I canceled them because they they weren't that great and I've had nothing of this nature that can compare with don't eat the gum with all that being said let's get into Kevin's box Timmy G's unboxing stuff and stuff he's unboxing stuff and stuff please send me some stuff as they say in my dad's native country we're cutting here we're cutting here forget about it <laughs> and lastly, we're going to cut open the uh, top part here. And oh shit, right off the top, we can see this is an awesome, awesome box. He told me he was putting me together something really, really cool for this month. And <laughs> I can already see he's delivered on that. So we've got right off the top. The, uh, I think I might have uh, smashed this a little bit, unfortunately, um, when I dropped the box. But this is cool. This is, uh, I thought that this was going to actually be a book, but it's not. This is the Handbook for the Recently Diseased, <laughs> Deceased, <laughs> from Beetlejuice. And there's something inside, so... It says, Welcome to the Wacky World of the Recently Deceased. It's the home of Beetlejuice, the ghost with the most. 
haunt your video store, laugh your head off, and scare the living daylights out of your closest customers with Home Video's newest star, Beetlejuice, for the time of your life after death. The name to remember is Beetlejuice. And uh, there's, well, I'll show you the, uh, there that, there's that <laughs> that I just read. There that. And then there's some stuff in this little uh, sleeve here. So we're going to open that up and take her a look-see. Oh, wow. So the first thing in this bag is a Do Not Disturb the li Living <laughs> Beetlejuice. A sign that is friggin awesome and it says but laugh your head off with the hilarious hereafter the living can be such pests that is awesome and this you know looks pretty much like all uh, promotional material which is really really awesome and uh, here this looks like a oh man this is a poster it looks like like not just a regular poster but like one of the big ones so I had to zoom out because this poster is massive that is awesome this is as big as my keep poster that is awesome there's some more stuff down in here we got wow this just this first little thing right here uh, full of this promotional stuff just is keeps giving and giving and giving there's a whole bunch of little uh, promo stickers down in here uh, wow and it describes each of the uh, little characters and stuff and these are actual stickers uh, see there's the little uh, paper on the back that you peel off and uh, I'm probably not going to stick these on anything because I don't want to mess them up and lose them. So that is great. And then we've got a the beginner's guide to seeing ghosts. I myself am strange and unusual. So <laughs> there we go. There's the front part. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff on the back. And I'm not going to read you all the stuff because that's a lot of stuff to read. But, uh, wow. That is freaking great. And then it's, we're still not done with this first item. And, uh, we've got, okay, that's just the cardboard backing. But, uh, here is the, the paper ad that they found. Well, sort of like the one that they found in the movie, except it actually says Beetlejuice instead of Beetlegeist. But, uh, that is great. <laughs> and, uh, here is, like, a little magazine cover. Oh, but it's actually... Ah, it's actually a little pop-up thing. That is friggin' awesome. Wow. Just the first item. <laughs> I'm already fucking blown away. And next, this is the other thing I saw right away when I opened the box that I was actually going to ask for but didn't because he had said that he was already putting me a box together. So, this is incredibly awesome. This is the, I recognized it as soon as I saw the cover. This is the NECA Ultimate 2009 Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th reboot figure. So, there he is up in the package. That is awesome. Later on, I'm probably going to take this out of the box and display because I don't have a sackhead Jason on display. And this one actually does come with the sackhead. Yeah, and uh, from the uh, other videos I watched, I do believe the hockey mask is removable and uh, on the uh, main head. Unless they've got just separate heads. No, 
It's a, yeah, so it's a removable hockey mask, kind of like the 112 figure. Uh, so that is friggin' awesome. And uh, I love my ultimate NECA figures. It's always such a debate in my head. Take them out of the box, leave them in the box. <sighs> you know? And I can see we've got a couple more of these Steel Mutant figures. And that is awesome, too. We Speaking of comic books, <laughs> we've got uh, Apocalypse versus Archangel. That is awesome. If you don't know about uh, Archangel, Ap Apocalypse actually captured the mutant called Angel and uh, created him as one of his four horsemen get it for horsemen of the apocalypse <laughs> and created archangel uh that was <laughs> that is friggin awesome so we've got apocalypse versus archangel and the second one pretty much in any, anybody who's not even a comic book fan knows about this rivalry it's wolverine versus saber tooth that's right uh, so that's awesome. These Steel Mutant figures are awesome. They're small, uh, but they come with their own stand. They're made, I don't know if it's actually steel or uh, just like aluminum or what, but they are pretty, actually pretty tough. But we're going to probably leave them in the package. And we can't have a Don't Eat the Gum box without a framed picture now, can we? So let's see who we got. This is a bigger one. Ah, the Phantom. <laughs> there we go. We got the Phantom of the Opera. The Operetta 32 cent stamp. Well, of course, this isn't an actual stamp. Um, <laughs> you know, because I don't think you could fit this on a letter. But maybe. I don't know, but that is awesome. Phantom of the Opera was awesome. That was, uh, you know, another one of those classics that mom actually didn't mind me watching. And we have got a Texas Chainsaw Lunchbox. That is great. Who will survive? And what will be left of them? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw was such an awesome horror movie. If, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you're a horror fan. So you probably know how awesome Texas Chainsaw was. But if you didn't, it's awesome. So there we go. I'm assuming that what's inside of here is our goodie bags. And uh, yes, it does appear that way. So so we'll wait to the end of uh, the video before we get into the thank you card. And then take a look at the inside of here. And here is the thank you card. Of course, we're going to save that for last. We got a couple art prints here. Ah! <laughs> This has got to be a Highlander <laughs> print right here. <laughs> Highlander, if you're watching, man, I love your fucking stuff. We got Teddy Bear Jason with the knife and the blood. And uh, that looks like Highlander's signature right down there. And that's definitely his style of doing this so i'm assuming this is highlanders that is great and art print number two let's see what it do this is a uh, an awesome black and white jason and i'm assuming this is a uh, mike skaggs it uh kind of looks like it at any rate that is an Awesome, awesome Jason right there. And here was the card, so obviously that was a Mike Skaggs <laughs> print. It just fell out. But here is the uh, 
business card so you can, guys can see the horrendous art of Mike Skaggs and uh, Shock Studios. And then there's the info if you want to pause it, jot down that info, go check it out after you finish this video. And we got just a couple more things in here. We got, let's see, this is a ah, double-sized science fiction number three weird science. There we go, right there. And more gremlins in a Fangoria. We love getting the Fangorias. Oh, and it says that we've got a... Uh, pull-out poster from Salem's Lot in here, too. I'm going to check that guy out later because, you know, time. Now we're going to see what's inside this box. The Texas Chainsaw Box. We got a bunch of stuff, as always, down inside of here, so... So we've got another sticker from Beast Wreck Attacks. There we go. If you want to pause it and uh, jot down that info. Jot it on down, dude. <laughs> Check us if I can. Ivory earrings. It's the deal of a lifetime. And then it's the... <laughs> Couple of shower rings again. <laughs> that's the, uh, if you don't know, that's from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with uh, John Candy and uh, Steve Martin. <laughs> that is hilarious. Let's see, we've got some, uh, let's get all these unopened cards together. Ah, it's Freddy. So here are our unopened pack of Retro trading cards. We got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a piece of shell. Is there something there? <laughs> we got more Fright Flicks. Refrigerator Kruger on the cover. We got Baseball's Greatest Gross Outs. We got Gremlins 2. The new batch of spotter chemical stuff. We got Nanu Nanu, Mork and Mindy. We got Bill and Ted's most excellent <laughs> atypical movie cards. And we have got another pack of The Frighteners. <laughs> That's always great. So we got a few uh, loose garbage pail kids here. We got Jack Ill. We got Slimy Steve. And we got Gorge Don Gordon. And we've got some more here. Uh, these are the magnet ones. Oh, they're basically cards in a hard uh, case with a magnet on the back and so we got <laughs> Toadie Terry we got Bony Tony we got <laughs> Foul Raul 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 and we got <laughs> Acme Amy we got Peg leg Peter. And let's see, we got some buttons here. We got some buttons here. We got Sam from Trick or Treat with the mask on. If it'll focus. There we go. There's a focus. And we got a Mikey Myers. We got ah another Frederick Kruger, and we got a 
<laughs> Be kind, rewind. Remember going and uh, renting VHS tapes back in the day. They put that little Be Kind Rewind sticker on it so the next person don't get it and have to rewind it. <laughs> that is awesome. And so the rest of this is candy. And uh, we've got a another can of, ooh, Sprint Soda Fizz Candy. There, I got a couple of these in a box a couple months ago, and they were awesome. So I look forward to trying this one, too. And uh, we got a pack of Jawbreakers. We got some Chewy Lemon Heads. And we got some Pop Rocks. They, you put them in the mouth and they go pop, 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 pop. And we got a couple packs of Trolley Sour Bite Mini Wimes. Ooh. We got a couple fun size dum dums and a big size dum dum. It's not really dum dum. This one is a blow pop, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and we've got a Chewy now and later. We've got some trolley sour bright gummy beans. And we got all these uh ooh, we got the trolley sour crunchies. I think these are all three. Oh no, just these two are the uh trolley sour bite or whatever crunchies. <laughs> and we got a lemon head. We got a piece of Lubble Double Hubble Super Bubble. And we got a pack of Smarties for the Smarty. So before we zoom too far out, here is the thank you card. He always sends a thank you note uh, with every, uh, like, I think with every 50 and every $100 box. And uh, so here's the thank you note from this one. And let's see Lil Scully's with little Mr. P and a bat. And we got two little stickers on the <laughs> back. <laughs> I help you poop. Not. Ha! Ha 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 on top of the handwritten thank you note, which is an awesome, awesome touch, by the way, uh, inside every thank you card is usually some loose cards or pogs. Today we got cards, sometimes stickers too, uh, but just so you can see, there's the thank you note and the, uh, see the writing inside and uh, stuff. So let's look at these cards real quick. And we got one from, let's see, Blood of the Vampire. And we got, ah, from King Kong. King Kongs. And we got Pinky and the Brain. We got, huh, from Aliens. Braces? You really think so? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, we got Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Of <laughs> the Third Kind. And we've got a Frighteners. And so now I'm going to read you this card. And <laughs> it says, Timmy, most boxes only take me a half hour or an hour tops, but you, my friend, take quite a bit more time because of the many boxes you have purchased. The Beetlejuice kit from the VHS release had a damaged box. Sorry about that, but it's the goods inside I really wanted you to have, and they are awesome. <laughs> it really is. Highlander made that killer Jason Bear. See, told you it was Highlander. <laughs> and that's another amazing piece from Mike Skaggs of Shock Studios. See, I told you that one too. 
I hope you love it all. Take care, brother Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Obviously, I really, really do. You knocked it out of the park once again. This box, man. You know, Kevin told me when I, uh, you know, last month that he was planning me, planning my box for this month ahead of time. And, uh, wow. <laughs> Talk about planning, man. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome box. And actually, I'm kind of relieved to know that I'm not, that I didn't damage <laughs> this thing when I opened the box. So that's cool. But, uh, I love everything. Man, that, Going through this, just this first item, it was like a million items inside. It's going to take me forever to do the pictures, but that's cool. And uh, this lunchbox is friggin' great. This Friday, Ultimate Friday the 13th uh, reboot, man, is awesome. The comic book guys, man, the uh, magazines, the cards, everything is just awesome. Everything is awesome. <laughs> and, you know, I don't even know what to say. It's just awesome. Uh, so, you know, all you out there, if you're on the fence about buying a Don't Eat the Gum box, no need to straddle that fence, man. As you can see, this box is awesome, and your box will be awesome, too. I promise you. So yeah, uh, this has been the uh, first month I can remember that we actually got Don't Eat the Gum before Fright Crate. Uh, but that's cool. The uh, thing with Fright Crate, it was beyond Jay's control. And we'll be getting that soon enough. And uh, the Daily High Club is also on the way. And uh, so we'll be getting that soon. Uh, I, you know, know I keep talking about it, but I'm still working on some other little things. And then next month, you know, we'll do the same process again. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have stuff. <laughs> and stuff. So thank you all once again for tuning in. If you like this, comment, subscribe, and we'll chainsaw into that box in the next one. Timmy G's unboxing stuff and stuff. He's unboxing stuff and stuff. Please send me some stuff. Two hoagie rolls walk into a bar. Hoagies can't walk. I think... I, I need lobotomy. Making hot dogs like, hey, who wants to come get their hands on some wiener? It's full of protein. It was nothing I couldn't do when I was on top of you. Don't you think about the kids watching your channel? All I gotta say is, that. hey kids. Timmy G's kids be like, oh, please don't flush me. Hey baby, I like your ways. <laughs> Do 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 fat guy. It. Uh, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> laugh, laugh your head off, and scare the living daylights out of your closets. Closet, and then we just got a couple more. Oh, that's one of the gremlin guys riding ahead. And now, we're going to see what this lunchbox do, dude. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> We've got the check... <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> you, my friend, take a bit more shit. And, uh, so... Whew. Yeah, please edit out that part of me picking my nose. Yeah, so thank you all for tuning in once again.